Ipsy's, Ipsy face off over P37 B4 area property, Manila, Philippines, the government service insurance system, sees the country's largest pension fund, will sell two parcels of prime real estate in Manila's port area worth a combined P37.4 billion in an effort to mobilize its large portfolio of non performing assets. There's only one problem. The larger of the two properties covering an area of over 67 hectares is currently occupied by the International Container Terminal Services Incorporated Ipsy, of course and gaming. Tycoon Enrique Ratham Jr. in turn, Ipsy paid rent to the Philippine Port Authority, PPA, for the use of the land. In a press briefing, however, Jesus Quindorano, Chief President and General Manager, that he was neither aware of or a party to the arrangements between Ipsy and the PPA he stressed only that the state, under whose name the property is titled, has not been evicted from the deal. I have a responsibility to the members of the state, and I would be remiss in left square bracket performing right square bracket my duty to them if I let this pass, he said. This is not even the government's money but the money of the state members who are government employees. Officials of Peace which manages P1.1 trillion in assets of an estimated 1.5 million members said that if she should be paying the pension fund at least P80 million in monthly rent for the land that the fourth operator has been occupying since the 70s. That's almost P1 billion a year in rent payments, said Rana, who added that the Peace was ready to initiate legal proceedings to collect that rental from its feet. Soft for comment on the issue, Ratham told the inquirer that the billing dispute has an internal government issue. Company officials explained to the inquirer that control of the disputed property by the PPA was covered years ago, by a presidential decree and further affirmed by another court case. The thief chief said he would be willing to sit down with officials of the PPA or its to iron out their differences. But he noted that neither of the two parties on the opposite side of the dispute has been willing to talk to Peace despite seven demand letters sent over the last few months. All our letters were ignored, Aronis said. We don't know if they're playing deaf. The thief has been planning to dispose of this property as early as last year, but it postponed the process pending a readjustment by past authorities of the outdated final valuation for the area. The readjustment that was done last May resulted in the baseline price of the land rising from P25.5 billion to its current value of at least P33.6 billion. A nearby piece property of almost 11 hectares, meanwhile, will be allocated for socialized housing, given that it is currently occupied by informal settlers, Saranis said. This property's final valuation was also raised last month resulting in the property's value to rise from P412.8 million to P3.82 billion. These properties will be sold as is, where is, he said, adding that he would even welcome the possibility of Ipsy purchasing the land from these to allow the fourth operator to consolidate ownership of the property it occupies. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.